All right, people, this is me, Eric, and um, trying something new. I'm actually going to answer some of the questions that I get, because I get a lot of emails about, about some things, some access-specific or some VBA-specific issues, and so I want to share them with the rest of the world. Um, please let me know if you don't want to be shared, and also if you... Um, well, please let me know if you don't want these to be shared, but I'm going to share them because I figure they can help somebody else out as well. So, the first uh, message that I'm going to share, and so if I, uh, you know, I'm going to backdrop because, uh, again, this is something new. I'm going to go back to the, back through the message I get. Uh, it's from Davis. I don't know where Davis is from, but uh, if he's commenting, thank you for the lessons and, uh, onward and onward uh, so here's my challenge I have the idea of using a form which will receive the variables like U, V, W, X, Y, Z and these variables can be used in five different formulas one, two, three, four, five the formula is based upon the item being utilized item one to be utilized in formula one two would be in formula two Four would be item four, we use four to five. And I am thinking that the select statement would be the proper approach. Please let me know how you would handle this. Is there any way VBA could do this or a query? Thanks, Davis. Well, thank you for your clarity, Davis, for uh, providing all the all the well providing a clear message because I get a lot of unclear messages and so the first thing I say well uh, are we trying to do we want this to be used by in multiple areas like uh, uh, do you want to access you want to have it access accessible by your reports by your forms yeah by, by other queries okay then I would say put it in a query you just want it to be a, you can put it as a function in, in a VBA, uh, but it run, it run a bit slower. And really that's for organization because it's hard to, you can put your calculation inside of, a, inside of the query by design grid. Uh, you can put it in, in there, but it's hard to read. And so the ideal thing with VBA is that you can actually uh, put a logical structure and so you can see. Uh, it is uh, it's following this flow of events so you can read it easier but then what this event is a little, a little bit slower but it's a whole lot more customizable a whole lot easier for somebody else to read um, I would say yeah you could use a uh, well for for this for this approach my first question would be again is this going to be used by in multiple areas? And if it is, or multiple objects, and if it is, use the use the uh, use a query. If it's not, uh, use VBA. Okay, use VBA for it because it's easier to read, and uh, it just seems to be it just be seems to be the better better choice. So um, you may want to provide a more uh, you may want to use that and they come back and say well I really want to uh, I really want to do something different or provide some of your other variables in that or your responses and uh, anyway uh, I hope that hope that helps and uh, we will go from there if you need an example uh, feel free to let me know and I can post an example to that and uh, post a link from this year video from this year video to the example video and uh, hope that helped you out thanks Davis bye bye